Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the paper presentation and preparation of business statistics one subject, which you are having in your semester three of BCom students under Usmania University. Many of you have requested for this video, no? So in this video, I will explain you about the full uh, clarity about this subject that is business statistics. Whatever the tips I am giving in this video is enough to score O grade and passing marks. So because many of the students have uh, don't know about this subject because lack of awareness is there for you all. So in this video, basically it's an easy subject, no need to worry at all. So in this video, I will discuss with you all about this subject in a easy to understand manner okay so how you should present your paper uh, in the examination booklet means what are the topics you need to prepare in the business statistics one everything we will discuss in this video each and every step we will discuss in this video so my suggestion and my uh, thing to you all is you to know you should watch this video till end then only you will get to know what i am saying if you skip this video you don't understand anything so before watching this video watch previous video of the important questions which i have already uploaded in our channel because there i have given the list of important questions from business statistics one here i will not at all discuss about the important questions just i will discuss about the how you should uh, present your answers and what are the topics you need to learn and uh, everything in detail we will discuss about this subject for important questions you need to watch that channel uh, video okay so Paper presentation of business statistics. Business statistics is of 80 marks question paper and 3 hours is time duration. Okay. So passing marks is 36. For 80 marks question paper, 36 marks means what are the units we are having. Now we will discuss in clearly. Okay. Students, uh, in business statistics 1, total you are having 5 units. In this 5 units only you will get whole question paper of 80 marks. In short, uh, 20 marks, part A consists of 20 marks and part B consists of 80 mar uh, 60 marks, right? Total 80 marks question paper will come in this 5 units only. So, now we will discuss in each and every unit uh, what are the topics you are having, what are the topics you need to learn to only get passing marks. Or so, students who want only passing marks, you need to prepare first chapter, second chapter and fifth chapter. If you prepare these three chapters, you will get above 40, uh, above 45 marks plus marks. Okay. So, first unit, second unit and fifth unit. So, you prepare these three units <coughs> to pass marks, for getting to pass marks. So, in this video, so now after uh, looking into this syllabus, Many of the students are uh, asking me about the all the contents we need to discuss in this video. All the topics we need to learn are um, like that. You need to learn all the content and all the stuff which you are having in your book. So in this uh, we now I will discuss about the introduction. What are the questions you need to learn? Introduction is purely theory. No problematic will be given from this chapter. Okay, so it is a purely theory question. In important questions video, I have given only three questions. If you perfect with that three questions, you will attempt one long question is 12 marks and one short question 4 marks, which consists of 16 marks weightage for first unit. Right, so that's why I'm saying to watch that important questions video. So now we will discuss about the first chapter. What are the topics you need to learn? How you should write that answer in the booklet. Okay, so in first chapter, I have given three questions ma. For long I have given three questions. Sampling and techniques. What are the sampling techniques? And statistical investigation is another important topic. Statistical investigation and scope of business statistics. About the business statistics. These are the three concepts. If you learn this three concept, one definite long question will come which consists of 12 marks and one short question. They will ask limitations of business statistics. If you are learning business statistics uh, question, write advantages, disadvantages, limitations, scope, nature, everything you need to learn in business statistics question. So in short, they will ask what is the limitation, what are the disadvantages of business statistics one. They will ask like that. So if you perfect with three questions, 
so you will able to attempt one long question and one short questions okay so this is about the first unit so those who want only uh, passing marks in this subject so prepare and concentrate on this three questions only so in first unit these are the three important questions and also i have uploaded the uh, previous year question paper of business statistics one that also you please check out that previous videos uh, previous year question paper if you check that previous year question paper whether these three questions are repeating or not you will also get an idea right so that pdfs uh, and that videos are there in our channel just check out in that so in first unit this three concepts is there i hope you got uh, clarity about the first unit now we will discuss about this second unit that is that is diagrammatic and graphical presentation right in this you will have only the graph like a uh, simple bar diagram simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram right ogu curve pie chart histogram histogram for short histogram and percentage bar diagram so these are the topics simple bar diagram means they will give some data for example x is equal to 10 20 30 y is equal to 50 80 so 10 okay you need to present it data in single uh, simple bar diagram in graph paper in examination hall you need to cal take the calculator with you all as well as the graph paper uh, invigilator will give you in that graph paper you need to simple draw that graph okay so here it is zero it is x and it is y right so x and y so 15 20 70 50 80 then like this you need to draw so this is called simple bar diagram percentage bar diagram so in this unit just prepare simple bar diagram percentage bar diagram multiple bar diagram ogu curve pie chart and histogram these are the simple things no need to having any there is no at all having any formulas in this uh, chapter just graph they will give the data you should present the data in a graph paper that's it if you look into this uh, chapter you will finish this chapter preparation within one hour only within one hour whole chapter will you will be perfect with that so if you perfect with what are the methods i have given now you will able to attempt one long 12 marks and one short four marks here also if you are attempting 16 marks first unit 16 marks you are attempting second unit 16 marks you are attempting total 32 marks weightage from first and second unit so now we will discuss about the third unit that is measures of central tendency right in this we will have only three concepts right what are the three concept mean median mode mean median mode and uh, geometric uh, geometric mean and uh, geometric uh, geometric mean will come for short right and harmonic mean harmonic mean also will come for short this three are for long so in part b from third unit you will get two questions with internal choice if one question they are asking mean means another question they will ask median or is mode so prepare out of this three concept prepare any two concept either mean or median median or mode mean or mode median or mean everything whatever you need you are comfortable with that you prepare that okay so in third unit if you prepare this two means you will attempt one long and if you prepare these two methods means you will attempt one short also which consists of 16 marks in third unit there is not at all having any theory questions they will not ask any theory questions in part b purely of problematic only measures of central tendency is purely of problematic only okay if you perfect with this three you can attempt one long and one short okay so in fourth unit what are the fourth unit in fourth unit what you need to learn means in fourth chapter karl pearson coefficient of skewness 
and Bowley's coefficient of skewness. Right. So in part B, in from fourth unit, you will get A or B questions like this. <coughs> right. In part uh, first question, what they will ask? Either st uh, standard deviation or mean deviation. In second question, either they may ask Carl Pearson or Bowley's. If you prepare with these two methods from fourth unit, you will definitely attempt one long question which consists of twelve marks and one short question which consists of four marks. Okay, so just prepare these two only. If you prepare these two, means no need to uh, learn standard deviation, no need to learn mean deviation because uh, here you are learning two questions, two methods you are learning. So, if you are learning these two methods, one definite question will come problematic only. Fourth unit also problematic only. Not having any chances to get theory. So, in theory, only first unit you will get theory. Sometimes they will ask uh, from the second unit also theory. Means what they will ask, what are the different types of uh, diagrammatic and graphical representation of data we are having in the syllabus like that. One question will be there. If you are perfect with problematic, you will attempt that. So, if in fourth unit, if you uh, prefer, if you learn this Carl Pearson and Bowley's, one question definitely you will attempt. One short question will come from Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness like this. Okay. So, this is about the fourth unit. Now, we will discuss about the fifth unit. <coughs> fifth unit, that is correlation, right? In correlation, only two methods. That first one is rank correlation. And the second one is Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Out of in fifth uh, from fifth chapter, you will get A question, B question. First question will come from Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation, and the B question will come from rank correlation. Definite these methods only will have long. So if you prefer these two methods, you can be able to score on long and one short. Here also scoring 16 marks from this unit. Okay. If you are preparing the five units, which I have discussed now, we have discussed now, we have discussed now, we have discussed now, four units, 16 marks, four units, 16 marks, four units, 16 marks, four units, 16 marks, four units, 16 marks. Right. Total how many marks? 24, 30, here 3, 80 marks, here only. 80 marks, only will able to attempt, right? So, it's an easy paper, it's the only topics you need to learn for important uh, problematic questions and uh, what type of book you need to maintain means. This is the book you need to follow for the semester 3 of Usmania University for Business statistical, it is a fungus publication. Here only in this book, only most of the methods will get in the question paper. So, if you are not having this textbook, I will upload this PDFs in a Telegram group. Previously, I have uploaded this questions, important questions, whatever the we are having in this book. I have uploaded a video, you should watch that video also. There, I have discussed about the uh, things of the question, uh, questions, different types of important questions, what we are having in the business statistics. I have uploaded a video, check out in our channel. So, this is about the topic in the discipline. This is the preparation of business statistics one. So, after preparing, you go for the examination, you say, book. This is book. This is your booklet. So, First, you need to attempt part B. Uh, in part B, write like this part B. Here you write it, uh, one line, here also you should draw one line. You should maintain the booklet in a proper way. Then knowing that the character who is correcting your answer booklet is by your uh, presentation of your answers. How much you are learning is not important. How much you are putting it in on the uh, answer booklet is important, right? As it is a digital correction, you need to use only black pen. No need to use any book pen, no need to use any other pens, only black pen. Whole booklet should be written in black pen only. If you are attempting part B, 
प्रॉब्लमेटिक If you are attempting the problematic thing, here you will get the single rule paper. Neatly you should draw the lines. Here you are drawing the table. Right? Here you are drawing the table. So it's X. Neatly uh, you should present your data. Use calculator. Calculator is allowed to use the examination or not. The uh, scientific calculator or the calculator you should take. Then only uh, uh, exam will be, exam in this letter will allow you to use. So graph paper will given uh, will be given uh, by in this nature. In this nature, you should ask graph paper whether you are attempting to also you can take two graph papers. So in graph paper also try to write the question number. Okay, try to write the question number. So after presenting the data, you need to write the formula. You need to describe the formula and you need to calculate the formula. So whatever you are attempting. Should be a uh, correct form. If you don't know the answer, also my suggestion to you is attempt the question. Sometimes, basically, it's the problematic question paper, students. Sometimes the question itself will be wrong. So if you attempt, it means full marks they will allow you. If you don't attempt, it means nothing marks will get you. Okay. So that's why if you don't know the answer, also try to attempt. If you want to score a grade, try to attempt whole paper with extras also. So for long three sides, short one and half side, whatever methods I have discussed, that is enough. No need to worry about it all uh, at all in this business statistics. Many of the students are confusing in this business statistics. Whatever the important methods I have given, that only is required. No need to uh, learn all the stuff you need to uh, remember in your video to like that. So this is the. video okay i hope that you have got clarity about this subject and i hope that you have got that uh, uh, like uh, thing about this uh, that it is a easy subject so no need to worry at all it's a damn is the subject and damn is the question paper we give you so previous year question papers whatever it is having uh, of business statistics i have uploaded that pdf and that video in our channel so please watch that video then you will get to know what type of questions they are asking with my whatever methods i have given in this video whether that methods are repeating or not you should check it okay so i hope that this video has helpful to you all so if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups okay because this video will be helpful for the students those who are irregular to the colleges and some of, many of the students has messaged me about that their uh, particular respective colleges uh, the professor or lecturers was not at all having that much capacity to explain the students so for them uh, i have uploaded this video this video will be useful to you all so my intention is only to help you all in the examination and let me know after writing your examination how was the question paper just let me know in the comment section if you are having any further doubts related to the business statistics one subject you please comment me in the comment section definitely i will try to answer it if you want to the notes video means everything i have uploaded in telegram group all the links will be given in the description and these are the comment box okay So this is all about the video. I hope that you have got like this video. So all the very best for your preparation and all the very best for your examination, students. So once again, all the very best and thank you so much.